Hey cutie pies, I'm Lanikia and this is what happened on the soaps uh, Friday's uh, Friday's edition of the bold and the beautiful um, Today is May the 13th 2022 happy uh, Friday the 13th All right guys, we're gonna get right into this because it was um, This this is a short soap, but it's a lot to unpack always All right so we see Brooke, Hope, and Deacon um, still together again. And Brooke is just like, after Deacon tells her that they've invited Sheila over, Deacon's, uh, Brooke is just like, I'm sorry. Uh, Sheila must be dreaming. She's living in some fantasy. Because I don't see this family in wel welcoming her in. And Deacon said, no, 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 you don't understand. It was Taylor. Taylor's the peacemaker. And she's the one who told Sheila to come over. And he said, uh, you know, with Sheila having lost, they both have this connection. They all lost Finn. And so that could be what's pulled them together, what will pull them together. And Sheila needs compassion. Like someone has to be, because they're like, why do you always defend Sheila? He said, someone has to be in, a, you know, your corner. She, and he was like, y'all defend me. And some people would say, why do you defend Deacon? And Brooke said, well, you haven't done anything as bad as Sheila. He said, but still, you still need someone in your corner to, you know, be there to ride with you, defend you, rock with you. And Brooke is like, well, yeah, as a mother, I do understand, you know, I, I, I sympathize with Sheila and everything. Um, and he was like, yeah, exactly. And so then they say, they talk about, um, just Sheila's lost and loss and, and how, um, everything has affected her. And he tells them that Taylor's on Sheila's side because Sheila actually saved Taylor's life. And he proceeds to tell them about Sheila being on the roof and, you know, and that incident. And they were like, Oh wow. Like, yeah, I can see how that would bond them. And he was like, and he again was just like, someone needs to be on Sheila's side. And Brooke said, not me. Like, I couldn't, even if I wanted to be that person to say, okay, Sheila, I'm going to give you a chance. I could never do it because Ridge would never allow this. <laughs> she said, Ridge is a no. And Deacon says, um, the way you're always thinking about Ridge, you're always defending Ridge, you're all, you know. And she says, well, you know, that that's my husband at the end of the day. He says, I guess I'm just a little jealous because I would want somebody to, you know, ride for me the way you do for Ridge. And she said, um, and she just tells them, tells them, well, I messed up with Ridge. Like I, you can't blame Ridge. Cause Deacon's like, he's staying in the guest. He's staying with Taylor and hope was like, he's in the guest gatehouse, guest house. And he was like, it's still over there. He's not at home. And Brooke said, you can't blame De uh, Ridge for that. That's my fault. Deacon. And you know, for what I did with you. And he said, I'm sorry. And she said, you don't have to apologize or anything for it. It is what it is. And she said, you know, she still wishes she knew why she drank and everything. But she says, you know, that's just something she has to live with. So then we go over here with Deacon, Sheila, excuse me. We go over here with Deacon, Ridge, Steffi, and Taylor. All right. So Sheila, I'm like, oh, Sheila, please stop, stop. But she keeps talking and she's telling them like, I did this for you. And Steffi still is on her. <clears throat> Let me get it. You shot your son. You, you did it. You shot him and you pulled, stepped over me and, and pulled the trigger. You tried to kill me. And, um, Sheila is just like, it's, I did. It's not my fault. I it was an accident, and Steffi, you're the one to blame, because if you had shown me any kind of compassion, any kind of sympathy, anything, um, this wouldn't have happened. And so Taylor was like, wait, are you trying to blame my daughter for you shooting your son? And she said, it is Steffi's fault. She didn't show me any kind of compassion, Taylor. She wouldn't open up. She wouldn't let me be a part of the family. And Ridge says, uh, cause you're crazy. That's why. Um, and you've proved time and time again that you can't be trusted in everything. And so Sheila just keeps going on about how it's not my fault. Um, Steffi is the one to blame. If you want to blame someone, blame Steffi. And she said, you took, um, Hayes fan away from Hayes. You took my husband away and you tried to kill me. And she said, um, stop. He, you know, Ridge is like, you're a murderer. And she said, stop saying that. Stop saying that I killed my son. It was an accident, like accident or not, Sheila, you still did it. And, um, then she turns to Taylor and she says, Taylor, cause Taylor's like, I gave you a second chance. She said, Taylor, I saved your life. 
And Taylor was like, you only say my life. If I, she, if Sheila hadn't been up there, Taylor wouldn't have been up there. And she said, but you were only feeling bad because you knew what you had done. And that's why you felt guilty. And I was grateful to you. And she said, you were grateful to me, Taylor. Um, when I saved your life and she said, yes, I was grateful, but I didn't know you had tried to kill my daughter. And she said, um, Sheila, Sheila, I thought you had changed and I gave you a chance thinking that you had changed, but you're still the same heartless shrew that you have always been. And then she should have gone say, because I said, you, Ridge was like, you killed your own son. And she said, stop saying that. I, it, it, it was hazy. And I said, oh, uh uh, she looked. <laughs> you can't go. And it was hazy. She said, it was hazy. And, and everything happened so fast. And I, I just don't, I don't, I said, uh uh, you can't go with that. Like, you don't talk too much. And your memory was clear as day when you said Steffi was in, antagonizing you. So the hazy defense is not going to work with these people. And so, and Ridge said as much. He said, oh, you were hazy, but you knew enough to rob them to make it look like a robbery. You stole their jewelry and all that kind of stuff. See, see, that's why you can't go there. And so it was like, so you knew enough to do that. Um, and then Taylor says, you felt because Sheila said, I felt bad about that. And Taylor said, you felt bad because you murdered your own son. Um, then, okay, so then Sheila, because I was like, Sheila, you can't go with the hazy when you can't, you can't try to turn this on Steffi. And so Sheila was like, okay, I'm going to go with Brooke. So she starts talking about Brooke and she says, this is all Brooke's fault. And I said, okay, well, this ain't the way to go, but let's go with it. And she said, if Brooke, I did this because of Brooke, it all, it's all because of her. And, and Steffi was like, we don't know what you're talking about. And Ridge was like, what does Brooke have to do with this? Huh? What does she got to do with this? <laughs> and Sheila was like, this all happened because of Brooke. If she had just minded her own business, none of this would have um, happened. I did this because of what Brooke did to you all. And I wanted you to be back as a family. I wanted you back together. And I said, oh, Sheila, you know I like you. But you're sounding a little crazy right now. <laughs> Y'all done took it too far right now. And so they were like, what are you talking about? What does Brooke have to do with this? Brooke didn't make you shoot Finn and everything. And they, and Steffi was like, we don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, yes, you do, Steffi. You know, tell them. Go ahead and tell them. And Steffi was like, I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> And she says, the, tell them the reason you followed me in that alley. Tell them about Brooke. You know, tell them. And so Steffi was like, okay, let me think. And so Steffi started thinking and she said, and she remembered, um, I heard Thomas on the phone. Um, you know, the whole, I heard Thomas on the phone and I heard what you did to Brooke. You, you switched her drink. You made an alcoholic drink. And so Steffi was like, oh my gosh, you, um, you're the reason that book Brooke, Brooke fell off the wagon. You're the reason that she was drinking. And Rich said, what? And, and Taylor was like, what, what are y'all talking about? And she says, I'm the one who brought your family back. Brooke drank that night because of what I did on on New Year's Eve. On New, it was me. I started this, set this in motion on New Year's Eve for you all because I love you that much. I said, Sheila, this, uh, mm -mm. this is my love girl. But so then Ridge is all like, so you, it, dr Brooke drank, you switched the bottles to make her drink alcoholic beverage. And Sheila said, no, I didn't switch the bottles. I switched the label. I said, that don't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> the way she said it, like she was insulted. Oh, I switched the labels, not the bottle. And then they said, well, how is that Steffi's fault? And she said, because she courted me and she was confronting me about it. And it was all she had to do was be quiet. Um, and, and then she brought up Thomas and she said, um, talking about nobody was going to be quiet because Taylor and them said nobody was going to be quiet when they found out what you did to Brooke, Sheila. She said, Thomas did. And I said, no, don't throw Thomas in this. <laughs> you, you spent months telling Thomas to keep his mouth shut and here you go, free for all. You can't hold up. Cold ice water. She said, Thomas did. Thomas knew. And they said, oh, yeah, right, Sheila. And she said, he did. You don't believe me? Call him. Call Thomas. He knew. And then Steffi said, she's right. 
he did know. <laughs> and, and Taylor said, oh, Thomas. And Ridge said, that's all right. We're going to deal with Thomas later or whatever. But we're talking about you. And she said, then Sheila told them, I love you. I just wanted to be a part of your family. And the nerve, uh, I have to deal with Steffi when she said I couldn't be a part of your family, whatever. I have to deal with her. So I deal with her. She said, but Brooke, oh no, she, the nerve of her to tell me I can't be a part of a family. Who does she think she is? It was demeaning. It was insulting. And so I did what I did to her. <laughs> tell me I don't regret tell, tell me I don't regret it without saying it. She, she don't, don't care. She don't care that she did it. She feels justified in what she did. And so Ridge was like, you, you don't deserve to live. You're a monster. You don't deserve to even be on this earth. And I'm going to make sure you go to, you're going to prison for the rest of your life. And I'm going to make sure you suffer every chance you get. And that was the bold and the beautiful, y'all. I said, Sheila, you're talking too much. You're trying to find, figure out ways to justify it is not justifiable. But I still like you, girl. But they went too far with you this time. But that was the bold and the beautiful, guys. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, stay blessed. Stay safe. Um, and I will see you to Monday with another episode.